Hey everybody, it's Anthony. As you can tell, my beard is starting to get a little, uh, little long, a little longer than normal. And I've been getting so many requests from you guys on doing a tutorial on how to trim your beard into different styles. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you about six or seven of them. I do wanna show you some of the products um, that I use that I definitely recommend. This here is a wave brush. Uh, and what I do is I like to just kind of stroke the beard a little bit before uh, we do get to work on it because a clean beard is a happy beard. And then I use uh, this nice Philips Norelco um, electric razor, which I prefer to be used when charged. And uh, if it's not normal, you'll be shaving and it dies and you can't, you can't trim your face. So that's tough. So what we're gonna do first is something new. Um, this is something that I'm calling uh, Tiger Stripes. Give me hair like that, you see that? Kind of like you got clawed uh, by a tiger. You kinda just wanna, you just wanna line them up like that, okay? Now, as you can see, I did four on this side and only three on that side. Um, there's really no preference. It's basically whatever you want to do, whatever you feel comfortable with. So if you're not a fan of the tiger stripes, we'll mix it up a little bit. We're gonna take it down a notch. We're gonna go a little lower and we're gonna do what we call the chin curtain. And what it is, it's just, it's basically, what you're gonna have is just a thin line. Again, we're gonna do the same over here. We're just gonna get rid of this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And uh, yeah, so that's your that's your chin curtain. Why do they call it that? I don't know, but it feels like it really keeps this part intact. It's like it's holding on to it. Uh, we're gonna go with the goatee now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eliminate the curtain here. Oh wow, you know what? I think I just discovered something else. I didn't plan on coming up with something like this. No, um, I don't know what we're calling this. This is kind of like a little. Uh, a little baby version of like a mutton chop. Normally it would come out a little bit more, but as you can tell, it just looks like a very long sideburn. And I think that shows a lot of character and it shows you, you know what, I'm here to party and odds are there's illegal stuff going on at this party because, you know, look at me. Pretty interesting. If you think of a fun name for this, please let me know, drop it below. So as I was saying before I discovered this brand new look that I think you guys should absolutely try uh, while in quarantine and then going outside with it and seeing what your neighbors think. No, uh, we're just gonna be shaving right here to my ear. Uh, I don't like to go too high because I do enjoy having a little bit of sideburn and it's very easy. Just a couple strokes. You don't want to go too hard. You don't want to bleed. And I like having uh, normally my face pretty even. So I'm not going to keep this that length. We're going to do that. We're going to do that on this side, okay? Now this here that we have, this is the old school goatee, which uh, is a little uneven right there. Uh, it's also called, uh, I believe, the Van Dyke, which I saw online. Not sure why it's called that, but here it is. So this is a good full goatee length. Uh, if you're a dad in the 90s, this is a, a very good look. What we're gonna do now is uh, we are going to eliminate the bottom half of our of our goatee right here. And we're gonna trim that up a little bit. Now, if you can look really close, you can see right here blood. I've shed blood. And um, am I freaking out? Well, a little bit because I don't know how much it's gonna bleed because normally when you cut your face like this, it bleeds for a very long time. So I'm just gonna hold it. I'm just gonna hold it right there because there's a lack of toilet paper going around and I don't have any to put on my face. So I'm just gonna hold it and hope that I can finish this video without passing out. Here, as you can see, this is called, this is the Fu Manchu with a little bit of flavor right here, a little flavor right there. I think the Fu Manchu is, is very nice. It is uh, very back in style um, in 2020, which we're deciding right now. So yeah, if you ever wanna go that route, that's another really good way to go. So what we're gonna do now, we are going to eliminate the hair coming down from the side of your mouth you can see the blood is starting to, to poke out of my finger, which means it's coming out even faster. Okay, I'm just gonna shave that right there. Now we just have the mustache, which is also a very good look, very classic, um, uh, very plain. I don't wanna say plain, kind of vanilla because it's just uh, the upper lip surprise. You don't really have much else going on here, but it really uh, accentuates your uh, the, the, the area between the, your nose and your lips. So I've decided to remove my finger because the blood has seemed to have stopped, which is always good news. Uh, if you are bleeding for more than a few days, you should go to the doctor. So now you have your mustache and what you can do is you can even take it a little step further by just taking off the sides right here. 
uh, and going with the chaplain. And it just kind of gives you a little more breeze on the side of your lips. And it's nice during the summer uh, because you can also have the look, but also have just that, that feel of uh, fresh air on, on the side of my face right there. I don't know what this is, nor am I gonna keep it, but wow, that this is called the Hungry Caterpillar. Just sits right there on your nose. And now we're just gonna get rid of it all together because that's not really the best look. Uh, maybe if it is for you, great, but um, no, not for me. Okay, there it is. And uh, you're gonna notice too, once you do this, to not do a video because half of the hair ends up in your mouth. Uh, and it's really disgusting and you get little pokies in your tongue. Um, but I'm, I'm glad you guys requested me to do this for you. And I hope that all these tips really help you moving forward uh, as your beard grows out and you do want uh, to have some fun with it. So thank you for watching. Please um, comment or something. I don't know what people do on these. And um, if you have band-aids, please send them over.